morning. It is 10 past 8 in the morning. I'm talking quietly because Phoebe's asleep in the room above me. <laughs> God, I look tired. Um, I've just been out to do another early shop. I went to Asda's this morning and I'm really glad I did because it was so quiet. It was brilliant. So now I know actually that if I do need to get any last minute bits, I mean the shops only close for one day for goodness sake, but I think it's avoiding the shops when they're super busy doing the sales after Christmas and also we don't want to go out we just want to hunker down um, but if we do need to grab any last minute bits I know I could go really early or Dan could go really early on Thursday or Friday so that went well so I'm back home now and I'm having a very well earned cup of tea and I'm really hungry I need to have some breakfast I'm going to do that and then I've got all of my technology here and I'm going to edit the vlog from yesterday that's going to go up today uh, but I just wanted to say good morning, happy 20th of December, and thank you so much. I haven't said that in a couple of days. Thank you so much for your absolutely lovely comments. You just make us laugh and smile so much, and you come up with so many good tips, and we're just, yeah, you just, it's just lovely to read your comments. I was catching up a little bit yesterday, and I've actually been writing down some of the questions that have been popping up since the beginning of Vlogmas. So I'm hoping to sit down either today or tomorrow and maybe answer some questions that you've been asking, so I might do that. Um, right, tea and editing. It's lunchtime. I'm just doing a toasty for Phoebe. I'm going to have some some of our homegrown eggs on toast, I think. And I've got to start cleaning and tidying the house ready for Christmas. We'll have my mum and sister come on Christmas Eve. My mum stays for a couple of days, and my sister usually just stays Christmas Eve and night and Christmas Day night. I'm here to say my Boxing Day. Uh, I took Phoebe out just before lunch to get her nails done. It's something she was always going to do today and she really didn't want to miss out and she said she was feeling better and up to it. So we headed down there um, to get her nails done and they look lovely. So I'll put in a picture. I couldn't have nails like this because they are so long, but she is just delighted. Uh, so because she's got two weeks off school so she'll have two weeks of them she paid for them uh, I gave her some money towards them as part of her Christmas and she paid for the rest <gasps> Lilia is up anyway I had my nails done whilst I was there as well I just had oh, the powder s, &S. I've never had my nails done before so I was completely clueless but I didn't have any extensions or anything because I wouldn't be able to do all my crafting and stuff so I just had this powdery stuff which apparently is really hard wearing and because my nails are quite short because I've bitten them all my life but I've been really really trying so hard not to so they have got a bit of length on them now so she's just done them with the powder and they're all sparkly and uh, hopefully that will stop me nibbling even more which means maybe I can go back towards the end of January and get them done again I don't know I like them. I'm just not sure if thirty pounds like them. Do you get your nails done? Have you got any tips for me for a newbie? I I didn't even know what to ask for. It was very confusing. But there was a lot of people in there who really seemed to get their nails done a lot. They knew what they wanted, and I felt very kind of fish out of water. It was fun though. Right, I'm going to make lunch, and then I think I've got to do a million things around the house. But I'm going to sit down for a bit which is something I have not been good at lately. I feel I need to go and sit down, maybe do a bit of cross stitch. You do that. <laughs> Thank you, Lilia. You need a mug though. Huh? Mug. You need a mug. Need... Would you like your foxy yeah. mug?
think I've got all of my Christmas wrapping done. That is a good feeling and I think that earns me a glass of wine tonight even though it's only Tuesday and I've got work tomorrow but it's Christmas week all the rules go out the window. So I am just going to tidy up a little bit and go and put the presents under the tree, which is very exciting. And then we're not going into London today as we have planned. So there's two things that we haven't been able to do because Phoebe's been unwell. One, we were going to go to Rochester on Sunday, but she was just too ill. Today she is feeling a lot brighter and a lot better, uh, but she's in no in no state to go on a train into London and spend the evening in the cold so we're not going to do that we might do it between Christmas and New Year instead in, and we're going to go for a Christmas lights walk around the neighborhood because there are so many brilliant lights up at the moment so we're going to get all wrapped up and do that and then we were going to have dinner out so we're going to have to think about what we're going to have for dinner I'll well, save a bit of money I suppose so especially given that I've just had my nails done for the first time which is not something I'll be making a habit of but yeah I keep feeling like I'm going to damage them or something but apparently the girls assure me that's quite hard to do but we'll see challenge accepted <laughs> right I'm going to tidy up and then let's go and see some lights I don't know if I'll, how easy it'll be to film the lights because it's just going to be very dark but if I get any good footage, I'll include it here. Um, I'm feeling a bit gloomy. I know, this close to Christmas and so much to look forward to, but I think hormones are at play. I checked my health app on my phone and it's definitely within a few days of my most hormonal time of the month. So I think that's what it is. And once I realised that was probably what it is, I felt a lot better because I was like, oh no, why am I feeling like this? And then I was like, oh, hang on hang on and then you're like okay I know what to do so I've had a fairly slow day I've got some stuff done and then I've got Thursday and most of Saturday Christmas Eve to get the house ready but it is only my mum and sister if they turned up and we had washing hanging out and we hadn't hoovered in days they wouldn't care they'd help well my mum would <laughs> I have them. oh she's got them an obstruction in the road. I don't know if it's going to come out, but there is a tree fallen. It's, tree. it's crestfallen. It's, it's very upset. We have to, we have to navigate the tree. We can't go through. We can't go in there. I guess we have to go over. We could go round it. Can you go around? I'm going to do it. Yeah. 